Two hours later, I finally got my screws. Drove to town and back again. And uh, that's one thing you gotta plan ahead. Uh, living the rural lifestyle, uh, things are not that close. So there is some closer hardware stores and, and things like that in this area. But if you go on a Sunday, they're closed in this area. So I had to drive about 35, 40 minutes into a bigger town and get the screws I needed, turn around, come back, and then, you know, it was almost two hours said and done, you know, because I uh, also wanted to plan while we were on that hunt for the screws that I needed. Um, we had a list of other supplies we wanted to get. Uh, ran out of ice cream, so we always have to have in the truck a cooler in the, the back of the truck. So when we go get groceries, throw it in the cooler, then when we drive back and when it's, you know, about an hour, and then I had an un unfortunate thing happen here. Uh, I did not pack my cowboy boots or really any work boots. I packed a pair of Keen low tops with steel toes that I've been wearing, but I've also been wearing my muck boots for like almost everything. And the other day I kicked a rock and my toe split open on, on the boot, not, not my actual foot. And uh, I went to uh, Walmart because I always want, I was like, I need shoe goo. Went to Walmart they're out of stock and now it's been a couple days and I'm planning my next trip I need to go I don't have any tools here so I want to do an oil change on this truck and I'm gonna just take it to the dealer and have them do the oil change until I get my tools here because it's 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 due and I need to do some trips back and forth and my tools are scattered everywhere but uh, yeah so I gotta go try to on the hunt for some shoe goo so I can put my boot back together until I get the rest of my shoes here. So it's one of those things to consider. Okay, uh, today is just more of a fun day. Uh, we went to the uh, Pruitt uh, Buffalo River access point. Uh, we're pretty close to it. We went this morning and uh, went for a nice hike. Uh, the place is really nice. I mean, you have a uh, public restrooms there that are really clean and uh, temperature controlled, it seemed like. And then uh, just a really nice access to the river. How uh, we went uh, eight or nine in the morning and we literally beat the crowd and when we were there it was Labor Day believe it or not uh, I, w I was expecting the holiday to, to be busier uh, by the time we got back though the people started trickling in but it was uh, you know there's some uh, steep sections I mean it, it goes for like 20 or 30 miles so I mean it's a it's a long trail we only did like maybe two miles but there's a really cool point where you hit a lookout that you're on a bluff looking down. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good sized drop off. And then, uh, yeah, it was uh, highly recommended. Uh, we did not float the buffalo yet. Uh, you know, we walked around in it a little bit, but, uh, and then other than that, today was just cleaning up the Starlink. I did add my uh, brace to it. And then um, just tightened up the cabling a little bit. We also added a Wi-Fi access point just to extend the range around the property. So if my wife wants to work outside, uh, we can do that. Also, we have Wi-Fi cameras, game cameras, things like that, so we can access them and see a little bit better, and security cameras. So it extends the range quite a bit. But uh, that was about it for today. Today was pretty much uh, slept in till like seven, got up, went, did our hike, came back. I did some work around here gonna do dinner now and that's that's it for a lazy day though but uh highly recommend uh, some hikes in the buffalo i plan on actually looking and doing some backpacking there's some we went to uh the ozark access too 
which is a campground, and it's uh, about twenty dollars a night. And it was pretty. Uh, at first, when we pulled in there, I, I didn't, I didn't think much of it. And then my wife's like, "Well, let's go do the." There's a loop at the end. So when we pulled in there. It was just a wooded, big open area surrounded by trees, and uh, I was like, "Wow, this is kind of uh, not what I was expecting," because it's a pretty good long drive. So we pulled in there a little bit further, and then in the loop, the one side of the loop pretty much runs all along the river. So you could have campgrounds with the bluffs of the river right there. And it, it was pretty cool. You just can't see it when you first pull in there. So that Ozark access point is another one that uh, it's pretty neat. And uh, for $20 a night, they have, uh, look like they have showers there. Uh, they had a pit toilet and it looked like they had garbage service. So, you know, because the Pruitt area is a pack in, pack out. There's no garbage cans. You're expected to clean yourself up and pack it all out. The Ozark access point with the campground you could, uh, there's garbage facilities there. So it was, uh, it was well, well worth the uh, fun day, I guess. Well, well worth the effort of us going out there and doing some exploring. And then, uh, yeah, the bugs are still, uh, when I was on the roof doing the, uh, the, the Starlink, I, I wasn't mosquitoes, besides these giant red hornets that were humongous and just kept buzzing me, but it was these little biting flies that just kept biting my legs. That was about the only thing annoying today. Um, other than that, it was um, kind of getting used to the bugs. Uh, on the Pruitt, the trail there that we did, I picked off some chiggers off my wife. I had a tick bite me the other day. Left, a, I've been monitoring it. It's not <laughs> no bullseye yet. So the the bugs are, you know, we're getting used to it. I mean, you can see me. I'm like constantly uh, <laughs> creepies and crawlies. But uh, it's uh, typically been uh, two shower days. You know, shower in the morning, shower at night. You know when. You know, but that makes it, you know, not so bad. You know, the the shower seems to be the best thing to get rid of the <laughs> the creepy crawly feeling. But uh, snakes, I saw a couple today. I don't know what they were. They were only about this big and they were very fast. I saw one on the trail and then I saw one here uh, near the driveway. But uh, other than that, it was a pretty lazy day. So hopefully everybody else had a good lazy Labor Day weekend. And then uh, until next time. Careful here because you don't want to slip down this. Just goats? Yeah, like mountain goats. Oh, okay. Because you're walking on like a three inch ledge. I didn't realize there are them. Yeah, we're still close to the road. It's just. This might be following the road for all we know. I'll have to look at the map. Well worth the hike.
Iya. Yeah. Instagram and then reality. <laughs> the road's right there. I should have shortly coming up some videos on how we chose this property. We looked at a lot of properties, so I plan on doing some videos on how we narrowed down the search. It doesn't necessarily have to be the Ozarks. We decided on the Ozarks for many reasons, but these will help you find a place maybe that you're thinking about going in a rural area and you want a rural lifestyle. These are some of the things that helped us because these uh, same principles that we used, they really helped us in different areas. And uh, one of them was economics. You know, the, the price was the big one that was a deciding factor. But uh, the criteria we, we used to choose our properties and look at properties, it could work anywhere for the most part. So uh, be on the lookout for those. And then uh, just some, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go eat dinner, but uh, yeah.